I don't know if you're aware of this, but there was a new documentary in the theaters this week. It's a movie I had no idea it existed, but I'm glad I know about it now because <laughs> it's quite the funny story. So everybody's favorite politician, AOC, super popular, right, has a documentary out in the theaters. I didn't even know this. A lot of people didn't know this. It's actually getting rave reviews from critics because, of course, it is. Do you expect it to get anything less? So from the L.A. Times, review changes hard. To the end, documents a fearless foursome tackling the climate. So this is, this is being hyped up as the movie that's going to actually make people take action. Not kidding. If you go and you look at its Rotten Tomatoes, which has an 83% with critics, because of course it does. Of course it does. Uh, you've got critics saying that it's amazing. It's going to change lives. It's going gonna, it's gonna to spark action. <laughs> How can it do that? How will it spark action when it literally made $80 per theater? <laughs> Oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> That's pathetic. That's sad. AOC Climate Documentary earns only $80 per theater despite rave critic reviews. You want to know what else is really funny about this? No audience score, which is funny. Rotten Tomatoes pulling some shenanigans because there's 50-plus ratings here that should be enough to get a score, but they're not giving it one. You know why they're doing that? Because it would literally be a one. <laughs> it would be probably one of the worst audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes. So they just don't put one on here. Like look at some of these reviews. Boring, boring, boring. To say this was unbearable is a gross understatement. The best part was my 45-minute nap during it. Boring, not worth the money. Go see Puss in Boots instead. Terrible movie. Pathetically un-American. Moronic panic fest. Just plain awful. This movie wasn't produced. It was committed like a crime and should have not been shot before a live audience. <laughs> so, yeah, look look at the poster, too. It's got all kinds of awards on it. I don't know if it's, it's not going to let me blow it up. Maybe it will. Yeah, here we go. Sundance Award, official selection, and a festival award. Because, of course, it did. Oh, I love this. Trying to get those Gen Z voters. They're all wearing masks, of course. Uh, coming soon only in theaters. So, I don't know if this got any marketing. Even if it didn't, I'm still going to laugh at it because this is pathetic box office. Well, we'll take a look at what some of the critics said in a second, but um, this is awful. I think they said the total was ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's take a look at some of this. Uh, New York Democratic Representative AOC's new climate documentary debuted in movie theaters over the weekend, generating an abysmal eighty dollars per theater. Uh, followed four people. Uh, I only know AOC. I don't know the other people. I'm sure they're all communists as well. That would just be my guess. So the new film was filmed over four years, and so far it's not making its money. You know this cost damn well over 10000 grand. So to the end is set to ignite more Americans to take action, says Roger, Robert, or Roger Ebert.com's Nick Allen. In his review, well, how is it going to ignite them to take more action if they they haven't seen it? You have to watch it to be moved to take action, <laughs> and nobody watched it. The documentary debuted on more than 120 screens over the weekend, but garnered less than $10,000 across all theaters, coming in 33rd place overall at the box office. Several 
Oscar bait films, lauded during film festivals, have struggled to excel in theaters this year, with critics attributing the audience drop-off to the rise in streaming platforms, audiences increasing distrust in critic scores and topics that do not interest a large swath of the public. Now, you know what I find funny is they're blaming a distrust in critic scores. That's because critics are all woke. You have to be if you want to work in this in this genre of film critics. Uh, no one trusts them anymore. They're all seen as they're all seen as out of touch. And that's not going to change anytime soon. Uh, the streaming platform excuse is bullshit. Uh, plenty of movies have done well. How can you even use that excuse anymore? I, I don't I don't I almost find that laughable, and I don't get it, because you have movies that have just been juggernauts. How many times did people keep going back to watch Top Gun? How many times do people keep going back to watch No Way Home? People are willing to go to the theaters. They're just not willing to go see shit. Like A lot of these Oscar movies, these Oscar-nominated movies, nobody has seen them. And this, this coming Oscars... Unless they plan on giving Avatar and uh, No Way Home, like no, would No Way Home even be? Could they even put that in for an Oscar? You know, unless you're going to give movies people actually cared about nominations, like this is going to be a funny Oscar year because most of the movies that came out this year are shit that nobody watched. So it'll be it'll be funny to see how that works out. I think the audience isn't going to show up this year. You're going to see probably the worst ratings for an Oscar, an Oscar year ever, ever. So they're trying to make excuses for it, which I find funny. I mean, it's just no one. I, I think maybe this woman's popularity outside of her state is grossly exaggerated. So this movie is a giant failure. Despite critics trying to boost it up, 18 reviews. I just find this funny. I want to just take a look at the pictures of some of these critics. <laughs> funny stuff. So, yeah, like, look, an impressive task. There's no doubt that this issue is fundamental to the functioning and existing of society. This documentary is simply not the film to tackle it head on. Oh, this one gave it a bad review. Oh, splat. That's surprising. There's a couple splats in here. That's a, that's going against the that's going against the narrative. Better watch out, Joel. You might be fired tomorrow. You might end up fired. Anyway, funny stuff. Uh, Eighty dollars a theater, everyone. Ten thousand dollars total. <laughs> this movie's a failure. A lot of money wasted here. Uh, but that's nothing new to AOC. Loves wasting money. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.